Freemantown where them black people, this the only place they had to go when y'all wouldn't let them go nowhere. Mm. And now y'all done came and swindled half of them out of there. They're gonna have to take it over really <laughs> literally over her dead body. Get rid of them. Houston, we got a problem. What's crazy about where we move now is the other side of that tennis court is a completely different vibe. Gentrification. Hello. That would be amazing. This building was the first school that allowed African American children to be enrolled as a public school student. This state is about Freedman's Town Fourth Ward, the first community established by African Americans after slavery. Slavery was emancipated in 1865 and 1866. They came together and established this place. The city would not pave roads for them. So they built bricks themselves and put them in the streets. And mm. those are the bricks that you see. Out on the streets. That's original brick? Yes. Do you know so why special. they changed the name from Friedman's Town to Midtown? I think it has more to do with the sellability and really not valuing the history. My city so big it felt like it won't talk about the if you want it. My city so big it felt like it won't talk about the if you want it. Hey ma'am. I'm shooting a video on the gentrification that's going on out here. Well, my sister, she's not here. She's the community leader around here. We've been out here our whole life. And so it's a lot different from like when from we remember as a kid. Different. When we were here and it was nothing but black people, this was the ghetto. Mm -hmm. This was the slums. But now all of a sudden, they don't even want to call it Fort Ward no more. They want to call it Midtown. This is a historical district. Mm -hmm. This Freeman, this is not Midtown's mm -hmm. historical nothing. You know, so y'all even came in and y'all taking a name from this historical place. Listen, it was on the news. They were trying to dig them up. My sister had people come out here and lay in the holes, but she ain't gonna let them take it from her. They gonna have to take it over, really literally over her dead body probably. We not asking nobody to give us nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just asking y'all to do right. <laughs> What's going on in this neighborhood? I live a couple streets down. God. And uh, hell's going on is what's going on. You haven't been here very long. I haven't, no. 16 years. Okay, wow. I'm about sick of this shit. Well, I'm fighting back. Thanks. Listen, 16 years ago, it was bad. They wouldn't eat pizza, we didn't even order here. So 16 years, are we moving up like this? Like, is the progress like, well, gone? Like I told you, but now nah, I went back down. There's been four kids shot in that park. A lot of people are getting shot for no reasons out there. See, they're trying to catch somebody. The cops lie to you and they lie to them. So they mm. try to pit you against one another. It's terrifying over here. There is a beautiful history, right? It's, it's beautiful, but listen, you can't even enjoy it. All your little criminals that are all these potheads are down there. You see them selling. He says, ma'am, you said you'd shoot a kid. I said, sure will. Go over there and tell them. They step on my property. I shoot their houses. That's it. Can they have their ball back? I said, sure. I went out there, and I stabbed it. I handed it to him with the knife. I said, there you go. I got to get going. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I have a good feeling that the people that are renovating this neighborhood and trying to move in don't even know the harm that they're doing and the history they're erasing. And right now I'm scared that the new is pushing down the past instead of using it as a springboard. The right thing to do is to preserve this neighborhood and give back to the community that they've been swindled from. This community needs help, and if we don't get help soon, it will be lost forever. Tell me I can